Hello, Tom, a.k.a. Gedeon here for Tabletop Tap Room, and we have Miniatures Monday. Today we're going to look at painting tartans. They're actually a lot easier than most people would think. You look at the little tiny figure and you think, how do I paint, you know, a tartan kilt on that figure? And, you know, this, what I'm going to show you applies to if you're painting a blanket with a plaid type pattern uh, or anything else with this style of, uh, of, of pattern, it, they're really not that hard. So let's get into it. So here we have a figure I did up for uh, a D&D session. And, um, you know, he's some sort of gladiator. And, you know, I'm always looking for ways to embellish a figure. And one of the ways you can embellish a figure, make him stand out different from other miniatures painted by other painters, is uh, you, you paint an embellishment. And here we painted his kilt uh, with a tartan pattern. And show him from another angle. So, you know, it, it's, uh, boy, when you blow it up, you can see all the defects in the painting. But from three feet away uh, on the table, you just don't see all this. Well, the trick to painting this is you need to figure out is, is I recommend that you get, just print out a picture off the computer, off the internet of a tartan pattern that you wish to paint. Now, if you're doing a historical figure, you'll just get the historical tartan pattern that they use. So, you know, if it's a historical Scots regiment, the, you'll use that pattern, but get it and have it as a reference. And what you want to do is you want to figure out what the base color is. And in this case, um, it was, now this is not it here. This is uh, from a, this little dark spot here. It's from a wash, and that's actually a lower spot on the uh, figure. And so I did a wash, and the, you know, the wash kind of made that dark spot. You can actually still see that brown stripe going uh, through it. It doesn't show up well in the photo. But you find the base, the base color, and you paint that first. And uh, then I uh, painted these uh, brown stripes, uh, leaving significant space because then it was going to do the yellow stripe on uh, next. And uh, so I just did the brown stripes straight up and down. And then I did these yellow stripes with a line across going, you know, right here. You don't see that yellow line because of this, this fur. Uh, but I, and then I did the yellow lines in between the brown stripes. Then I took my trusty micron marker that I showed you in the last Miniatures Monday video. Um, th this is permanent ink, doesn't smudge. And uh, so once the paint was dry, I then took this and did black lines down the middle of the yellow stripes, uh, very gingerly, very carefully. And uh, voila, it's done. Uh, I you know, followed up with a, with a wash and um, it made that little dark spot there and I just didn't choose to... Uh, to go over that again, but uh, now you can see, if I blow this up, you can see where the, that dark wash is here underneath this fur on top of the tartan. So that has, you know, it gives a nice shadowed effect. Um, you know, it just unfortunately kind of darkened up this one little area of the tartan, but uh, that's it. It's really a simple process and it's not that hard. And from three feet away, I mean, we're blowing this up up close, so it doesn't look fabulous here. But from three feet away on the table, it looks great, and, and it's kind of impressive. Let's look at uh, another fantasy figure here. This is called, uh, I think his name is called McLaren in the uh, Flintlock line, and uh, I painted up a tartan here for him as well. So again, we had a, a base of green, and then I did these. I did the blue, and over the blue, I did a yellow stripe, and then this red. Uh, I went in with a red micron marker and drew that on top, and it was just a little too easy to do that. But it's 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 your it's such a small figure. These figures are only one inch high. You're just trying to paint the hint of a tartan there, and so you just need the most basic of, uh, you know, one horizontal blue line, um, a one vertical, you know, blue line overpainted with those yellow lines. And then I just drew in 
these uh, these red lines with the uh, micron marker, which is, you know, when you want to do that really thin line, you say, ah, I don't know if I can paint a really thin line like that. Well, that's why we use this cheat of the micron markers, which are permanent. They don't smudge. Um, you know, they just go on nice. Uh, you can draw right on the figure. And um, so, the, you know, the micron marker, uh, marker from uh, Pigma, uh, highly recommend them. You find them at art stores. You know, probably a Scotsman would be like, oy vey, that's such, such a terrible looking tart. But <laughs> I don't think an Irishman's going to say oy vey. <laughs> Scotsman. Or whatever, they're not going to say oy vey, that's a Jewish He would if he's name. Jewish. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks for interrupting my video here. I now I've got a on this figure. And uh, so this was a fun, fun figure uh, to paint up. And on the on the table, he looks great. You know, particularly from that three feet away where, where you're, when you're standing around a wargaming table and you're looking at the figures, he looks great with this tart. So, you know, that's it. And again... Uh, I'm using a cheat, but Micron Mark, whoops, hold it from the shirt so the green screen doesn't do it out. But the Micron markers are fabulous. You're looking for that 005 size. It'll be on the cap. This one's not, at, this one's 05. Here's my 005 on the cap. And um, so, you, you know, you're going to want these in black and red and blue, some basic colors. Um, and I use them for dotting the eyes. I use them for drawing that last really fine line of a tartan pattern when I'm doing these up. And again, you're not trying to do the tartan pattern exact. You're just trying to do the hint of it. And it's, it's, it's actually fairly easy and fairly straightforward. And it, it pops the figure because it's a nice embellishment that not everybody does. So thanks for watching my video. Thank you to my uh, subscribers. You guys are great. Go ahead. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the uh, subscribe button and the bell icon so you get a notification when we drop a new video. And uh, this is Tom for Tabletop Tap Room. Keep on gaming. And backside of this figure. And he is fabulous. And while we're on this figure, I just want to point out, um, you know, I did this little dangling earring here. And all that is is wire wrapped around a, uh, a very small rod. And I drilled a hole through his ear with a uh, pin, vise, uh, pin vise drill and uh, just put it in there, glued it in place with super glue. So he's got this beautiful dangling uh, gold earring on this ear. This other one was sculpted in. And I just added another one to this ear. And um, so this really turned out well. I was really happy with this embellishment.